Hello and welcome to Games for All Tube. I'm your host Stephen Taylor and today we are going to be looking at this beauty of a game, Baron Park. We're going on a bear hunt and probably finding lots of toilets on the way as you will see. So the game starts with you getting your entrance. Uh, there are quite a few different entrances. At the moment I'm using the one, the name of the game, Baron Park. They're also double-sided. So Park Nidvidzi, I have no idea how to pronounce that. No idea at all. But as you can see, there are these little symbols on it. We've got our cement mixer, we've got our wheelbarrow, we've got little men. And also, as the game continues, you also have little orange diggers as well. But we'll come to those shortly. Now, I absolutely love this game design. Everything is really crystal clear on what you do. It's all on the board. You almost don't need the instructions because the board tells you exactly what to do. You have this wonderful little centrepiece on your table which tells you where everything is placed. Now, if you look very carefully down here and here and here, you'll see those symbols that I was showing you before. The wheelbarrow, the cement mixer and the digger. So when you cover over a wheelbarrow, a cement mixer or a digger on your board, you end up being able to pick up something from the relevant columns. So wheelbarrows get you rivers, or food courts, playgrounds, or toilets. And the toilets are the only single square thing that we've got. That's why they're so important. Uh, if you get a cement mixer, you get to pick a type of bear enclosure to get. We've got goby bears, we've got polar bears, we've got panda bears, and for some reason, koala bears. Um, I think they might have run out of bears, but never mind, they're, they're, they're still cute. Um, each one that you pick up, is worth of value so this is worth seven points and as you go further and further down you end up getting here you go let's get it in focus they start being worth less and less points as you go so it's quite simple there you go focus awesome you've also got the special enclosures as well the highlights of your theme park that's what the diggers for and these go up to eight points and they've various different shapes. The eight pointers tend to be the hardest ones to put in. Six pointers tend to be really easy ones that are going to fill up large spaces on your board for you. So it's also really useful. The other things it's got printing on this board as well. So if you have a look, it tells you here that you need 10 toilets and playgrounds. That's on all game modes. On two player, you need eight food courts or eight rivers. Three player it's 12, four player it's 16. Really simple. As we come over onto our cement mixture part, on a two player, you only put in the cards with values six, four, and two. On three player, you go six, two, two. And on four player, you have all seven of them on there. And then the digger ones, well, they always remain in play. So you've always got all of those there. It's really neat and tidy. And there is something very, very satisfying about placing these things down. So as a first player, I'd be given a toilet. So I might put a toilet by the entrance. You should always have a toilet by the entrance, don't you? And if you see, that's covered over the cement mixer part. So for our cement mixer, we come over here and I go, hmm. What do I want my park to be? Well, today it is absolutely roasting. I'm sweating buckets. So let's go for some polar bears. So you got some nice little polar bears there worth seven points. And I'm going to end up placing it here. Now, obviously, in between me placing down my toilet and having picked this up, the next player will have had their turn. But considering it's just me showing you guys this, I'll just keep taking my turns one after another to show you how it works. So as I've placed that down, it's covered over a wheelbarrow and some men at work. Now, wheelbarrow's easy. The wheelbarrow is definitely going to be one of these things here. 
So that that's easy enough. I, I'll, I'll pick up a nice river, you know. There we go. There does seem to be a man on a raft here, um, heading towards quite a low bridge. Um, I'm not entirely sure that's very safe, but never mind. I'll, I'll just put that one down here and worry about health and safety standards later. Um, but the, the men allow me to pick up a new part of my park. So here we go. A new section for it. It's double sided so you can pick which one you want to use. And I'm going to place my park down next to what I've already built. And then you continue on building it. So I'm going to place my river there and get myself another river because I went over a green real barrow. So I get myself another river. Oop, preferably without moving things. This is a lot harder than it seems with one hand. So I get another river, put that over here. That's going to get me this white cement truck. Let's go for some pandas. Uh, the great thing is you can go over boards like that with it. So by getting the pandas, that gives me another green bit to get. Um, I'm, I'm guessing my guests might be a bit hungry. So if I get a food court, I then place that in over here. And oh, look, I filled the board. There's just this strange hole here. You're not allowed to go in the hole because once you've filled up your board, you may have noticed, as I've been panning out over these, there's these little statues along the bottom. You pick up the one with the highest point value. So in this case, number 16. And then you come back over to your board and you place it over one of these holes because the holes are left there for your statues. And that will give you 16 points at the end. Now, in the four player game, you put them all out. In a two player game, you only put out the even numbers. And in a three player game, you put in statues 3 to 14, so you ignore 1, 2, 15 and 16 whilst you're playing. And I love it when games build in mechanics like that, that make it so clear and easy what to do with different numbers of players. Um, it makes the game still fun, it allows the game to play with exactly the same rules, and it means it doesn't drag on forever. Um, whilst you're playing, you will only ever receive four cards to build your park. Now, I usually like to build it into a square, but it doesn't have to be. It can be any shape that you want. After all, most parks are. And you just end up building a lovely uh, theme park. And in fact, I'll flash up on the screen for you guys now some pictures of completed ones that we've done in the past with various different people. And as you can see, it does end up looking very pretty at the end. Uh, there might be some gaps. Uh, that's what I reference the toilets for. One method I found that works quite well is steal all the toilets, but you've got to be careful doing that one because you don't want a park that's just full of toilets, they're not worth anything. But it does make it a lot more difficult for other people to play. Uh, at the end, you add all the points up that are on and that gives you your total score. The winner is the person with the most points. Simples. If you want to add some more complexity to it, there are these achievement tiles which you can forgo one of your tone, one of your turns to pick up an achievement if you want to and give that a try. See if you can complete that thing. Um, it just adds a little bit of nuance to it. And again, these are worth various different points. So the first set of three rivers that you put together like that will give you 10 points. The next one will give you seven. The next one will give you four. So the first person to achieve it gets the most points. It's simple, it's quaint, and it works really well. So, this is Games for All Tube. This was Bear Park, and I hope that you've really enjoyed it. If you have, please, please hit subscribe, hit like down at the bottom, because this is my first video out to you guys, and, and I do want some feedback. So please, in the comments, let me know how you think I've done. Um, and as you can see, from the wall behind me, I'm not sure if it's picked up on there or not. I do have many other games that I'm going to be talking of. Uh, there will be videos of unboxings, there will be more videos like this with how to plays, with explanations of how to explore identity and faith in them. And I'm just really excited to share all of this with you, and I look forward to seeing you again soon. Bye for now.